Hello there and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest XI S. In the last episode what we did was find ourselves in Purgatory because I just had to go in side quest instead of doing the, what I was doing in Hotto. Like an idiot. So now I'm dead, I think. Maybe not quite. It's, she said I'm not in heaven or hell, so I guess I'm in the plane between. Let's see. Hello, Sia. Take your seat. Make yourself at home. The fact that you're here makes me wonder if you might have taken a bit of a wrong turn somewhere. Hold still for just a moment. Ah, so that's it. Worried we've lost the power of the luminary, are we? Hmm. Well. I'm afraid there's not much I can do about that. But there is one thing I can say. You may think that your power has been taken from you by the Lord of Shadows. But power cannot be taken, no more than it can be touched or tasted. Especially not the power of the Luminary. Still no idea what I'm talking about, huh? Well, no matter. I think that's enough for now. Let me leave you with this thought. When the time comes, you will know. You will feel the tug on the line, and you will know. As in fishing, so in life. Oh, that's right. You're drowning, aren't you? That won't do at all. Well, don't fret. A certain sacred tree tells me it's not your time just yet. Right. We'd better get you woken up, hadn't we? You are the luminary, after all. You have rather an important task to be getting on with. Go. Save the world. Now, <laughs> I just wake up with a red mark on my forehead. Fucking thump me. <gasps> Darling, you're alive. Oh, thank goodness. When you took that tumble into the sea back there, we all thought you were done for, laddie. Oh, it was terrible. We tried to fish you out, but you slipped beneath the waves before we could get to you. But then, well, it was nothing short of a miracle. There was a bright light, and suddenly, there you were, floating up from the seabed. Somehow we managed to pull you out of the water, give that big slimy so-and-so the slip, and get here to safety. I still don't know quite how we did it. What's the matter, honey? You look like you've seen a ghost. You're kidding. You were fishing, and you met a person called the Seer, and they turned into a dog? Oh, come on, silly Billy. You were just dreaming, that's all. You were out for a long time. You have been through quite an ordeal. You need rest. As do we all. Come. Thanks, Hendrik. It's like Big Brother Hendrik. Mm -hmm. It's not quite old enough to be my dad.
time enough for staring out to sea tomorrow, laddie. Come on, let's get you to bed. The party bed down in the cabin on the seashore and take a much needed rest. Then, morning comes. Hello. Oh, you're awake at last to hear you attacked by the sea monster everyone's been talking about. I can't believe you survived. It must be a lucky day. Now I hope. Wait, right, fuck. Who enough think of adventure out to sea again? The police may have swum off to the open ocean, but I doubt they stay away for long. Perhaps the trip to the boys' rest would be a wiser move. The inn has been the source of many a mysterious rumour of late. A rumour, you say? I love a good rumour. Don't mind me just breaking your bowels. See you later. Bye. Okay. Let's have a little loxy doodles then, shall we? I'm only interested in going to a very particular field. So I'm sorry I wasted everyone's time by making me drown and everyone thinking I'm dead, but I'm actually just going to this field and I'll be done. Not with the video, of course, I mean in terms of my adventures here. Also, you're new. Fight. I don't get to find out what they're called, eh? Not yet. They are called... In order to make a 500 pre of attacks on enemies, Space Invader. Ooh. I like that game. Ham... Shamwich. They just keep re rearranging the ways that spell. Also, there's an angry, vicious troll, so let's fight. Doink. How about you? Okay, yeah, let's do a cutting edge. Bosh. Hit him with a big boy. There you go, see you there. And stay down. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Let's go see what's happening at the Warriors of West Inn. Hello. First, we would like to stock on a few essentials for continuing your travels. Would you love a look at my rares? I'd love to. Thank you. And scholar's cap. Can we rest until the night? Rest a while. Until night time, please. Let's see if there's another ghost. Just to go back to that day. Oh dear. Please. Hear my plea. You must free this restless knight from his prison of despair. Oh, he was Jocillian, so it might be my dad. I need to go to Dundasil and help him. So we all had the same dream, eh? Just like people have been saying. The poor knight bemoaning his fate, asking to go back. Oh, it was tragic. He looked so desperate. I wish there was something we could do to help, but we don't know who he is or even where he is. Uh, maybe not, but that was Dracilian armor he was wearing. There's no doubt about that. What do you say, laddie? Shall we go and see what's become of Dundrasil now that this blasted darkness has engulfed the world? We should, but not yet. There's there's lots of things I should be doing. 
Right, okay. It's night time. Oh well. Can't do it right now. So, where can I walk to now? I can go to the Warriors Rest Inn. Good. So now I can go back to Hotto. And actually solve the, the, the dragon problem. Because I started it, so I'll finish it. Don't know why not. Okay. I need to get my uh, machine back as well. So I can keep running. Scrumpty dum, bleep plomp plomp, scrumpty ba, de lumpy doo. Don't often explore places at night. It just doesn't tend to be the thing I do. And you guys have a 400 health, that's a lot. And maybe it's not a lot for this part of the game. But I think it's sort of open, like you can pick and choose which areas you do. The swords of enemies certainly seem easier. But who knows really. Just because it looks easier doesn't mean it is. I've also got to go to Octagonia and get Jade back. And the seer told me about Eric, but didn't tell me where he was, which would have been very useful information to know. But oh well. You don't get to know, bitch. You'll find out when I tell you, I guess, is what she's saying. Let's fight you again, and we'll go charging around some rocks. Hello! You gone? Okay, thank you. Can rise that. We'll ride it now, I mean. Now, let's go over here. I've seen if there's a chest. That's where I went before. So now we'll go explore this way. This could be a, a trapped box, by the way. No, it isn't. It could have been. That could be a trapped box, too. Oh look, Joe finds a mini medal. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Thank you. Ding 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 ding. Diligence is its own. Hendrix level increased level 41. So he's six skill points. I think Hendrick can never look now, so. Yeah. Blind man's biff. Random attack unleashed. And a single unsuspecting enemy. So if you just want to do damage and you don't care how. That seems a little bit too easy, but oh well. Right, let's have a little look. Hello. Yeah, mate. Right. Is this really him? The man who once fought for good, reborn as a beast. Once kind as the sun, once gentle as the spring breeze, now he burns, rages. For our dear home's sake, I would gladly give my life. He said this to me. He must be released. For Hotto's sake, and for his, please end this sadness. We know it's not Tatsunaga, though. We know it's Ryunaga. Right? Okay, um... Take him. Yeah, don't worry. It's how to control the abyss. Watch yourselves. Okay, it gets three attacks. Okay, before it got two, now it gets three. But I still get my ability of smacking the shit out of it really hard. So here we go. Doink. Don't let him get you done. Okay, don't know what that does, but we'll take it. No. I'm gonna need everyone to heal, please. 
while I keep doing the big boy damage. Yeah, Hustle Dance is fine, that's good. Another insulation. Insulatorlusion. Oh, asshole. Oh, make his attack worse. That's good. It's actually very good. Yeah, so Vanda, if you want to keep hustle dancing, you basically make us unkillable, so go for it. Oh. Alright, here we go. Again. Yes. Take this. It's good damage, it's good damage. Oh, thank you. Oh. I need I need uh moves that make it more likely that it's gonna work. Again. Good shit. Oh, well, that's some. We're doing like a thousand damage a turn. Now I might die for my sins. Didn't die. Okay. Kill. Not kill. Yes, kill. See there. Tatsunaga is defeated again. Each pipe member receives 21,000 experience points and 9,600 gold coins. Joe's level increases to level 43. Receives 8 skill points. Vab's level increases to level 41. Receives 6. Use your skill points right away. Yeah, so I'm going to save these because when I get the luminary back, I'm going to need them. And uh, you're going towards heavy ones, correct? Yes, but I need 14, so I can't do anything right now. Okay. No problem. Garg. Like the look of this. A mysterious voice echoes around the cavern. Mirror now mastered. The season of the beast ends. That of peace begins. Inside me, at last the miasma cleared. The curse was broken. One question remains. How did the mirror get there? What brought the out in? Alas, time grows short. Spirit ebbs like the tide. I drift from life's shore. <laughs> but I am ready. Knowing that all is now well, I die happily. I ask only this. Tell my mother I love her. I await her there. When first we came there, 
rage burned in me at Miko, at her treachery. But though she did wrong, she did it with good reason, or so she believed. She loved her son of you, just as we love our mother, as the fox its cubs. to the village. Sun shines on Hotto once more. We must share the news. You got it. And hopefully, when he ate his own mum, he didn't destroy her soul so she can go to heaven or wherever they go. Back to the world tree, although I don't know where they go when the world tree's gone. Pang said their souls to sort of stay in the void for a bit. At last we are saved. Your courage is as boundless as the starry skies. Thanks, bro. Mother! Yes! <laughs> Can you forgive us? To condone your sacrifice, brought eternal shame. The past is buried. A new season greets us all. A season of sun. How can the sun shine on a village whose people drift now, rudderless? We believed in lies, trusted one who betrayed us, who now will guide us? Uh, are grown-ups not supposed to be able to think for themselves? The dragon is gone. For this, we thank our friends here, but Miko the most. Though she betrayed us, we only live thanks to her. Our breath is her gift. To sacrifice us must have burned hotter than fire. We must forgive her. A new dawn awaits. We must make our own future. She died that we might. <sighs> They do not need to know the whole truth. They have seen tragedy enough. The people of Hotto must rely on themselves now. And Atsuko and I will make sure they do. Hmm. You're welcome, bro. Happy to help. I'm just good like that. Awarded for oh Tatsunaga Terminator. Awarded for defeating the dragon Tatsunaga and saving the village of Hato and opening the door to a new and brighter future for its people. Dong dong dong. Not any new quests I can do now. A little bit of lantern. Good to Honolulu, I guess. But I should probably go to Zavards first and actually do what I'm supposed to do. Alright, let's go. Also, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Hello there, Traveller. Also, I everybody to tell you that haste makes waste. Sometimes you got to sit back, relax, and listen to some sweet loot licks, like the ones I'm about to lay down. Um, yes, let's go towards Dundrasil, but first we're going to pay a little visit to Octagonia. Just a little one. We've got a big pervert fog to kill. It's probably more like a toad. But oh well. I'll see you later. Just checking the uh, enemies we've got to fight. Wait a minute there, Eddie. Not curious about that nightly looking fellow, the one for the Jumio Ladder Roy's Rest. He's wearing the Silinami, take that for certain. What do we head over to the old kingdom so we can't find a few clues there, eh? There's a shortcut west of the wounds as well. Let's go there and do a wee bit of investigating, shall we? Well, yeah, I was going to basically run all the way around. But, okay. If you want me to not, we won't. See you, goblins. Fuck you. 
we should just kill everything like this because it's there. It's all free experience at the end of the day. Ooh. It's a masquerader. strong iron. Last time I came over here it was blocked by rocks. Now they've unblocked it. Cool. Let's go visit old Dundrassel. See what's cracking. Okay. So, what enemies appear that we haven't fought before? Probably plenty. Like this ghost and this savage orc. Ooh, four kinds of different enemies. Good thinking, man. I was going to hit him with a quadra slash. But now I don't need to. I'll just kill them, I think. Good. I'll deal that. Score one for the good guys. Oh, three iron mats. Also, you're, you order you. I mean, you're dead is what you are, but I need to find another green ghost and fight it. Just walk into it. There you go. Hello. Now we'll be able to find out though. It was a silhouette. I'm thinking, is that what that was? Yeah. Regular green dragon or fierce green dragon? And the fact I've not seen it makes me think it's not a normal green dragon. It's a vicious green dragon. Okay. That makes it new, which means you get an unvital blade. Bye bye. Thank you. You get a death, and you get a death, and you get a death. Are you a evil priest? Perhaps. a whacker light and a cosmic chimera that ran away. They're not supposed to learn anything from that, but... Bye. Don't know if I fought a whacker light before, so if I have, please ignore me. But if I haven't, then it's all good. Okay. Let's go onward to the bonfire to rest at it and also to get the warp point. Yes, let me settle. Okay, rest until the dawn, sure. And then we'll go back to Dungesil. Right, let's actually fight a cosmic chimera. It ran away last time. Okay, they're not very strong. So 3,000 experience though, that's pretty good. Okay. Let's 
go to Ginger Sill. Some kind of spooky knight's very unhappy here. Onward. Oh. I'm going to need to dismount and go down the lift, but first, let's fight you. Proper demon you are. A liege lizard. Leash lizard dead. So now I can carry on. Down the old well. Let's see if we can't find a knight. Just chilling. This counts as the same area, doesn't it? Not here, no. But outside, I think it does. Like Le the Leech lizards will appear on the list. I think. Da -da -da. Okay. So, are there any enemies around here? Or can I not get any further? There's a grave. I mean, that's our... Mother and father's grave, correct? By King Owen and Queen Eleanor of Jundersil. Crevens. This place was in ruins the last time we came. But this... This is something else. Ah, it fear breaks my heart. Ah. Where was I? Ah, yes. It should be around here somewhere. Would you boys do me a favor and shift this little lot? Well, don't just stand there, darling. If I'm getting my hands dirty, you are too. Where does this stairway lead, Lord Robert? to an underground passage that runs beneath the castle. It was meant to allow the royal family to flee should Dundrasil ever come under attack. Right, let's get in there and see if we can find some clues to the identity of our restless knight, shall we? If it was meant to let you get away, why didn't you use it? Maybe they came from there, maybe the person who got Dundrasil in the shithole told them about it and blocked it off. I don't know. I'm just making things up. Strangely, no monsters. At least not yet. It seems like the sort of place monsters would appear. But, alas, maybe not. Okay, the Sage's Elixir scares me a bit, but here we go. Hello, my knight. Such pain. Such despair. Chat with our friend here, 
something tells me he's got other things in mind. Hmm. Here we go. Such the rest of the snipe draws near. Stay focused. Come here, I got this, lads. Yeah, oof me, yeah. Big banger. Okay, so the screen might make him... I was going to say it might make him possibly not act. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hit him with the big boy damage. Oh, he's got a falcon blade. Hit him again. See that? The last night is defeated. Each prime member receives 4,000 experience worth 3,000 gold coins. Bye. You took my beloved Eleanor. You took my boy. I will never forgive you. Eleanor? But that's the old queen's name, which would make you... Erwin, last king of Dundrasil, just as I thought. A great man, and a fine warrior too, as you've just witnessed. And, most importantly of all, your father. I'm sorry the two of you had to meet like this. What happened to you, Erwin? Come on, laddie. Look at me. At last you have come. Long have I waited for a kindly soul to free my restless knight from his misery. The voice from the dream. You are correct, of course. Before you kneels Erwin, King of Dundrasil. All those long years ago, on that darkest of days, he fought to the last. The light of justice sustained him, and he refused to yield to the darkness. But with time, that light has waned, and all that remains is the tortured soul you see before you. Lost between light and dark, life and death. I beg of you, help him, free him from his nightmare. Shine the light of hope into the darkness of his despair. The voice, it's gone again. Who is she? That'll have to wait. Erwin here needs our help. But what are we supposed to do to help him? Highly liquid. Reward of having at least 50,000 gold coins on one person at once. I can't even believe this is what's become of poor Erwin. I have to do something about this, laddie. Here is son, eh? Why not have a bit closer and this is what he has to say for himself. I too was party to the party to the tragedy that befell this place all those years ago. I was sent to save King Carnelian from the monsters. Your father was a fine warrior, Joey. You must never forget that. Free him from his nightmare. That's what the voice said, right? So what are you waiting for, honey? Your puppy deserves to rest in peace, and you're the one who can make that happen. All right, Dad. Such pain, such despair. You took my Eleanor, my Joey. You destroyed everything. I will never forgive you. 
King Owen continues to mutter pain pitifully, moving closer to listen. As he steps forward, Joey is suddenly transfixed with a void inside his father. But besides that, it's alright. King Erwin. It is a great honor to be invited to celebrate this most special of days with you. The birth of your son and heir is a source of great joy and happiness to us all. Congratulations, your majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Aye, this is a momentous day for Dundrasil. I am truly humbled to be lucky enough to celebrate it with you all. My dear Sultan, King Gustav, allow me to welcome you both to Dundasil. You honor us with your presence. The honor is all ours, King Erwin. Truly, it has been far too long. A thousand thanks for preparing such lavish festivities. Though, of course, we are not here merely to celebrate. Today's Colloquy of Kings shall determine the fate of Erdrea for generations to come. I, for one, mean to see that my people's interests are well represented. You will forgive me if I grow a little passionate at times. It is the first time the rulers of the Four Kingdoms have ever gathered under one roof, you know. A momentous occasion indeed. But the reason itself is a momentous one, of course. The birth of an heir to the title of Luminary is an event of unparalleled significance. Indeed it is. Thank you once again for agreeing to meet so readily. Now, I have some final preparations to make before we convene the colloquy. I will come and fetch you when we're ready to begin. Guards! I don't suppose any of you have seen Kin Carnelian. Yes, sire. Kin Carnelian is walking the grounds with Lord Robert, sire. Hmm. I know, okay, I'm gonna ask, do they see me here or do they just talk? He he doesn't need to be so impatient. We'll get to see the baby just as soon as the Colloquy of Kings is done. I think they might just be getting started without any minute now. Actually, I seen King, saw King Odin head into the courtyard of King Canelian. Uh oh. Is it still is it still angry, evil King Carnelian, or has he not King been affected Carnelian. yet? Lord Robert. I will be convening the colloquy shortly, if you'd like to make ready. Lord Robert informs me that the boy bears the mark. That he is the luminary reborn. That's right, I. I've decided to present him to you all at the colloquy. The sight of so many people gathered to celebrate his birth has brought home to me how important he is. 
How much hope the light he brings represents. I'll save it for the meeting, Owen. Don't take it to heart, laddie. The fate of all Erdria hangs in the luminary now. Not everyone's going to be happy about that. Right, it's nearly time. Why don't you go and fetch the wee one from Eleanor's chambers? Well, there you go. Well, there they go. King Owen, King Kalen, and Lord Robert all off upstairs. I suppose the colloquy of kings will be getting started soon, then. I mean, I've got seven minutes. How long will it take? Hopefully not that long. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of pushing it, but oh well. Fuck it. How many times do I have to tell you, you big galoot? King Eleanor's chambers through that door on the left. Hurry up before King Owen gets here. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm new here. Oh, God. They just brought me in from the West Midlands. Of, uh... Dunder still. <clears throat> Alright, let's get into some paradox fuckery. I'll start seeing myself. Oh, he's so tiny. Can I touch him, Lady Eleanor? I promise I'll be careful. <laughs> I think he likes you, Jade. He wants to play. <laughs> He's a very special boy, you know. They call him the Luminary. People have all sorts of hopes for him. But I just hope he grows up to be like his father. That he can help people to overcome their problems. Just as Erwin does. I hope he grows up to be nice and kind like you, Lady Eleanor. <laughs> King Erwin! <laughs> the colloquy is about to start, Eleanor. Will you hand me the wee one? All right, wee man. Let's go and talk to some scary old men, shall we? Don't worry. Daddy will look after you. <laughs> oh, Erwin. You don't need to hold on to him so tight, you know. Let the poor boy breathe. Would you look at it thundering away out there? And on such a special day, too. It's making me feel uneasy. Come on now, Eleanor. There's nothing to worry about. We'll keep you safe no matter what, won't we, wee man? <sighs> and what about me, hmm? <laughs> You don't need me to protect you, Jade. You've got King Carnelian. Your dad's a force to be reckoned with, and no mistake. <laughs> right. We better get this meeting started. I'll see you later, Eleanor. Good luck. Both of you. I'm going to be such a good big sister to Joey. We're going to play together all the time when he gets bigger. Is someone there? Who are you talking to, Lady? There's nobody there. No, no, of course not. Sorry, dear. It's just, well, it was the strangest thing. I know that Owen's taking little Joey to the colloquy, but it's as though I can still sense him here in the room. I felt his warmth. Ah, but this isn't the time for that kind of nonsense. It's my wee one's big day. I mustn't let myself get distracted. I had a toilet break, so I'm going to try and push it for another eight minutes. It's as long as I can go before it starts. the video starts to get a bit fucky. 
upper floors of oh yeah the council chamber yeah 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 yeah, yeah. they wouldn't let me in when I was rad. going this child he is the one he bears the mark there's no mistaking it Dark one riseth, tree descendeth, luminary, man defendeth. Light's mark shineth, hand extendeth. With his coming, black night endeth. The final poem in the book of Erdwin. The legends tell us that the dark one was defeated by the luminary in the age of heroes bringing eternal peace to the world. But, as I'm sure you haven't failed to notice, monsters walk the land once more. The peace of Erdrea is under threat. The kingdom of Svadsrost has already fallen at the wicked creature's hands, and King Arnud with it. He will be sorely missed. And now a child has been born who bears the mark. Which brings us to a reason for gathering here today. What does all this mean for Erdria? You speak of the Dark One. Of monsters running wild. Of the peace of centuries crumbling. But surely, the birth of the child signals an end to our woes. Now that the luminary is among us, the balance can be restored. The peace can be maintained. All is well, is it not? <laughs> you believe that the presence of the luminary will ensure that peace prevails. Can you be certain? Forgive me, Lord Robert, but the Book of Erdwin contains another poem concerning this matter, does it not? It does. The very first poem. The prophecy. World Tree's gift, first of many, bold, bright, blessed luminary. Thy light doth a shadow cast. Lo, the dark one, bleak, black, vast. What are the two of you implying? That the luminary causes the appearance of the dark one? Without light, there cannot be shadow. Without darkness, the stars cannot shine. This has always been the way of the world. Darkness and light must coexist. So, indeed, the birth of the Luminary may well be what causes the Dark One to awaken. You dare to imply that my son is somehow the source of our troubles? That the Luminary isn't a force for good? Can we be certain that he is? Evil does not always take a monstrous form, after all. You must have noticed the sinister glow emitted by Erdwin's lantern of late. Ever since your child was born, in fact. What are you trying to... The star sings at night, you know. I, I have heard it. It sings of Erdria's destruction. King Gustav is right. Ah, oh, don't you start. Our 
ominous footsteps approach, we all hear them. As the leaders of this world, we owe it to our people to root out even the slightest hint of evil at its source. Even when that source is painfully close to home. Why don't you just come out and say it? You're asking me to kill my own son! My own flesh and blood! Something happened, not long before the child was born. I'm sure some of you saw it. A great, blinding light shot up from Yggdrasil and set the sky aglow. For a moment, it seemed that night had become day. We saw that same light on the evening he was born. It was shining from the mark on his hand. The child is a force for good. I have never been more certain of anything. He did not give rise to the darkness. He was sent to drive it out. Light and dark are not two sides of the same coin. The light of the luminary is a gift. A gift that will cleanse the world of evil. A rousing performance indeed. <laughs> of course, if you had shown even a witless conviction, we would have had no choice but to remove the child from your care. The Luminary is the child of Yggdrasil. He alone can bring light to the world. He must be protected at all costs. I hope you will forgive us our little test, but we had to be sure how strongly you believed. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I am satisfied. Send him to Heliodor when he comes of age. He will be trained in all that he will need to fulfill his destiny. We must confer upon the Luminary the power to lead us all. King Karninian. Everyone. I... I don't know what to say. item on our agenda is dealt with, and it ended just as I knew it would. <laughs> now the matter is settled. Our kingdoms are united in their purpose. Let all be as Yggdrasil wills it. That concludes the colloquy. Now, all that remains is to introduce the Luminary to his adoring public. Hmm. Thank you, King Carnelian. My friends, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Now, the... Uh, your Majesty! Uh, 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 what is it? You must flee the palace immediately. Monsters! Hundreds! Hundreds of monsters! We're under attack. Everyone, we have to get out of here now. Sorry to do this. I'll see you guys next time when we do the escape from Dundrasil. See you then. Goodbye.